Should you hire a dating coach if you're a man with a busy career or your own business and you want to find the right girlfriend, life partner or wife, a serious, meaningful, long-term relationship, then it might be useful to hire a dating coach. In this video, I want to talk about the pros and the cons of hiring a dating coach. So first of all, what you have to understand about me is I'm not a pickup artist. The people who come to me, my clients, the ones that I've been able to help from 30 countries or more, almost 30 countries I believe it is at this stage, help them find a meaningful long-term relationship, get a better social life in general, they don't want to have dates with hundreds of women. This is not some pickup artist nonsense. The goal for me with you is to help you find somebody that you can share your life with, whether that be in the context of a family, having children, or even just maybe you've been married before and you already have children. You just want a partner for yourself to be able to explore life with and share beautiful moments with. So if you're looking for somebody who can help you have dates with hundreds and hundreds of women, that's not what I'm about. This is not about manipulation, lying, and deception. What I help my clients with is transforming their confidence, their communication, and their understanding of the dynamics of how we as human beings relate to one another, which is not always politically correct. So, what could be some of the advantages of hiring a dating coach? Well, imagine your knee was broken. Right? You have a knee injury, you play football, you go to the gym, something happens, your kneecap pops out like it did with myself many years ago when I was bowling in Brighton. It's a ridiculously stupid story. I might tell you some other day. Would you then let your friend perform knee surgery on you? Why not? I mean, he has two knees himself, so surely he must know a thing or two about knees, no? Well, evidently not. But just because somebody has two pairs of knees that doesn't make him that doesn't make him an expert on knees to the extent where he'd be able to perform knee surgery on you because if he did you might never be able to walk again dating is a little bit like open heart surgery if you want to draw a different analogy if you don't have an expert with you you're going to keep losing her and is it possible for you to figure this out by yourself absolutely it might genuinely just take you 5 10 15 years to figure this out. I mean that. And I have the conviction, which is something that I've learned from one of Germany's best psychologists, Gunter Schmidt, that nobody needs a coach. Nobody needs coaches or consultants. I really believe that. That's not just something that I'm saying. It's actually true. You don't need it to be happy. You don't need somebody like me to be able to live. But you have to put yourself in my perspective. I have not gotten a not only gotten a ridiculous amount of personal experience by myself, not only am I in a relationship with Fernanda that is way, 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 way better than the one with my ex-wife. Check out a different video here on my YouTube channel where I talk about my story and how I got into that in detail. But also, I've worked with hundreds of clients from 30 countries from all around the world and helped them change their communication, transform their levels of confidence, and help them gain a completely new level of understanding of the social dynamics between men and women. So you have your experience. Maybe you've had a couple of dates in the last six months. You've had a couple of relationships. You have your subjective point of view. And there are currently right now, currently right now, right now there are things that you're already doing well with women that you're not even aware of. You have unconscious competencies. Then there's things you know you're doing well. Then there's things that you know you suck at. And then there's things you don't even know that you don't know. Blind spots, unconscious incompetencies. And I have them as well. If you were to ask me to fix a car, I'm a very bad German. I don't give two shits about cars. I've driven a lot of them, very fast cars on the Autobahn in Germany. And contrary to common belief, not all of the Autobahn in Germany is unlimited. It's only around 40, 50%-ish, I believe, where you can go 200 even 300 kilometers an hour. The most I've ever done is 250. But I don't really care too much about cars or football. So if you were to ask me to fix a car, I wouldn't even know where to start. If you run a business, or if you work as a technical program manager for Amazon, for example, like some of my clients do, and you'd ask me to do your job, I would fail miserably. Not because I'm not intelligent. I actually believe I am. I know for a fact that I am. 
It's just true. <laughs> Humble as well. <laughs> but simply because I haven't gone through a process of developing the skill set that you have. Now, I've been able to, in German we call it Draufsicht, develop a bird's eye view on countless situations with clients from all around the world. I have conversations with them every single week and as much as I know that you are special and unique as a man in terms of the gift that you can contribute to a woman's life, to your children, to your friends, to the world at large, you are not special with your problems. You're not special with your problems. You're special when it comes to the beautiful gifts you can share with humanity but your problems aren't special. You don't know how to get dates. You don't know how to get dates with the right types of women. They lose interest in you. Somehow they stop responding. These are all issues I'm solving six and a half days a week for my clients and I've been doing so for years. There is no possible situation in the context of dating and relationships that you could present me with that I haven't seen yet. I've seen it all from personal experience as well as vicariously through hundreds of clients from all around the world through the years. Now, you might have to admit to yourself that you have a problem. Not that there's something wrong with you that really isn't. Quite the contrary. The product, who you are as a person, is you're probably an awesome guy. You're probably already a high value man. You have your flaws and I have mine, 100%. It's just that the marketing sucks. You don't know how to communicate with women. If you knew how to communicate with women effectively, you'd already have a relationship. If you already knew what to do, you'd already have the results. If you had better thoughts, if you knew what you'd have to think, how you'd have to communicate, how you'd have to relate to women in a storytelling, attractional, building way, you'd already have the result. So it comes down to you admitting, yes, I have an issue in this area. And there's no problem with it. I know there's a stigma. It's like, oh, does it mean I don't get women? I wouldn't want people to know about this. Nobody ever has to know about this. Privacy is one of the most important things that I take serious with my clients. Obviously, there's clients who are happy to give me testimonials, but I have testimonials that I'm not even able to share with you for privacy concerns that will blow you out of the water. Go check out the testimonials we have on the website. But we have even better ones that you wouldn't even believe that, unfortunately, I'm not able to share because privacy is something we take so serious. Just understand, you can either keep up your ego and tell yourself, I don't really have an issue, or you can actually get the result. If you are fat right now, wouldn't you hire a fitness instructor? Maybe you've actually done that in the past. Maybe you've hired somebody in the area of business, business consultants. You hire people who have a very narrow area of expertise who are able to solve an issue that you have because they've done it hundreds and hundreds of times before. So the question you have to ask yourself is, do I want to do this by myself? And you could, but trust me, you're going to run into so many issues along the way. And absolutely you can. If you really dedicate yourself for this, to this, for the next seven years and you spent 15, 20 hours a week going out, meeting women, studying this, yes, you can figure this out by yourself. But the question is, do you really want to spend that much time or would you not rather hire somebody who can guide you along the way, who can prevent you from falling into the pitfalls, who can show you a respectful and authentic way to communicate with women that will get them attracted and that will keep them the right ones. Because this is not about manipulating all women to be with you. This is what pickup artists will tell you. A pickup artist will tell you, I can help you make any woman fall in love with you, which is utter nonsense. It's not possible because thank God you can't control the free will of an individual. But there are women in the world right now, countless, with whom you'd have a high degree of compatibility, percentage-wise small, but still total number is great, that you are messing it up with because you don't know the blind spots in your communication. So it can absolutely make sense to hire a coach. Now, I promised you I was gonna talk about the cons of hiring a dating coach. Well, sometimes it can be a little bit rough. Receiving feedback like this can be a little bit rough. So. You have to be willing 
to let go of your fucking ego. That's one. Because we as men, especially accomplishment, if you're successful in your career or your business, you have an ego. And that's fine. That's cool. We all have that. But whenever you've been able to achieve something in your life, you let go of that ego at least for a period of time. But that's something that you'd have to be willing to do. So that's a downside, right? Admitting, okay, I don't possess an area of, I don't possess an expertise in this area and I might have to let go of my ego. That's one. What's the other downside? Well, you have to make a time commitment. Well, what's that? How much should be expected of you? Well, five to eight, five to 10 hours a week, right? As a total time invest for coaching, for going on dates, for online dating, no more than that. And if you're seriously trying to tell me that you don't have the time, stop fucking lying to yourself. What the fuck are you even talking about? You have 112 waking hours available to yourself every single week, if you sleep eight hours a night. You can't even dedicate five to eight per week to that? Then you're not serious about it. If you can't dedicate five to eight, five to 10 hours to something like this, something important, something as important as finding the right girlfriend, life partner, or wife, then it's just not important enough to you. Because Tony Robbins says, time is emotion, whatever is most important to us, and whatever we believe is possible for us to achieve, we're gonna dedicate time to. So these are some of the downsides. And obviously there's a financial investment, but hey, let's face it. The only resource you're not gonna get back is time. You've been able to create money, you're gonna get that back. You're gonna find ways to make more of that. But if you're 30, 40, 50, 60 years of age, then you only have a limited amount of time left on this planet. How much more time do you want to waste with the wrong women? How many more evenings do you want to sit at home frustrated staring at your phone because a conversation died out? How many more times do you want to fall asleep at night, roll to the side, have an empty bed? How many more times do you want to jerk yourself to sleep and wake up feeling pathetic because you can't even find somebody to engage in actual intimacy with you. Somebody that you would treat in a super kind way. A woman who you cherish, who you'd have amazing experiences with, emotional, physical. It's your choice. So, if you want my help, then simply apply for a free initial consultation call with the link underneath this video. What would the process be like? Well, initially, my team is gonna reach out to you to schedule a call to then schedule a longer meeting for you and I or for another team member of mine to develop a plan based on your individual situation because your situation is unique. As universal as the patterns may be, there are things about your situation that are unique that require a tailored approach. And then we'd figure out whether or not working together makes sense. This can save you years and years of suffering. I just want to tell you, I really give a shit about this, you know? It'd be so, across all social media platforms, we have almost slightly under a million followers. If we take TikTok and Instagram and Facebook, all of that together, we're slightly under a million. I think maybe we hit the million if we take it together. I don't know, it doesn't matter. It would be very easy for me to just run a social media marketing agency and help businesses grow on social media. I can legit legitimately do that. I've done that for myself and I've helped plenty of people do that. But it's not my passion. My passion is helping men find somebody who's actually right for them. Because the danger is not that you're gonna be alone forever. Somebody like you, you wouldn't be alone forever. You'd find somebody, you'd settle for somebody. Maybe you're gonna keep using hookers, you know? Maybe you're just gonna settle for a woman who isn't right for you. Let me tell you something. When I was married to my ex-wife, she tolerated my existence. She wasn't particularly excited about being with me. I'd come home from work, she'd be like, oh, hey, what's up? Have you done the dishes yet? And not because she's a bad person, but just because we weren't aligned. We weren't compatible. We weren't right for each other. So there was a lack of intimacy. I felt lonely even though I was in a relationship. I started having a lot of anxiety at some point, you know? So I have truly seen the dark night of the soul. I know how much you can suffer when you're in a relationship with the wrong person. So I know the suffering that comes from this. That's why this whole dating coaching thing for me is not just fun, and it is a lot of fucking fun. It's a really cool job to have. Gotta admit that. Because I get to have conversations with super intelligent, super successful, awesome guys from all around the world some more like normal jobs, some like hyper successful and anything in between. But it's not just fun. It's also joyful to see the transformations because 
when you get into a relationship, after having gone through a process of creating multiple high quality options for yourself and truly choosing from abundance, you will have a degree of groundedness in your relationship that most men will never experience. You'll be able to communicate your needs differently. Most men, you included at this point in time right now, are so scared of losing the woman that's in front of them. Even if you might not notice it, it's subtle. Subtle micro-communications that she's picking up on that's repelling her. So I would want for you to enter a relationship like many of my clients do, that then send us pictures of babies being born, weddings that Fernanda and I get invited to, where they communicate their needs, where they have a relationship on eye level. They're not placing the woman on a pedestal, but they're also not looking down upon her, like a lot of this alpha male content nowadays. Anybody who, this is not my quote, somebody said it, I don't know who said it, I'd like to give credit. Anybody who pretends to be a full-time tough guy is a part-time liar. You want to have a relationship on eye level. And if you have that, life can get pretty fucking amazing. And it's right there for you for the taking. You're sitting on a gold mine. You've already shaped yourself into the man who's worthy of having that. Do you have flaws that you need to work on? Sure, me too, of course. Personal development, growth is never gonna stop because we have a psychological need for growth that's gonna make us feel alive and that's something we're gonna grow in the relationship. But there's nothing that you need to change about yourself other than the way you communicate, your confidence and your understanding of the dynamics. You're already there. Apply for a free initial consultation call and looking forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.